Bell. Hi, Kami. How are you, bro? Hello, Mr. Harry. How are you I'm doing? I'm perfectly fine. How are you? Fine, not bad. Thanks, thank you very much. First of all, thank you very much for being with us. And you know what? Every single thank time you're bringing something brand new, and, and it's completely different than before. I mean, it was a Umara Chana first, and then it was like a Birmingham, and then this one is completely different. Like, I can never think of you, you producing something like in a similar to this thing, and it's amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> thank you. So, how are you feeling, first of all? I mean, what goes in your mind first of all, Kami? Like, I mean, because every single time when you kind of bring different side of your, uh, you know, different side of you. So, what what goes goes in your mind? You know. First of all, I just like to do. I always like to do try new things. I always like to experiment as well. Okay. In the sense of the music production, in the sense of artists, and also the songs and the lyrics as well. Because um, I've done folk, I've done like pop music with Humera yeah. I've done more moderate folk slash electronic yeah. dance music in but Birmingham, Birmingham as yeah. well, Perfect. with Yusuf Teddy. Yes. Um, I wanted to do something more of a devotional, like a Sufi kind of song. Okay. So that's why I went for Wisdom, which is based on the on the, on the works and the poetry of Mia Muhammad Baksh. Okay. His most famous poetry is Sefal Maluk. Perfect. Uh, do you know what? I mean, what was the reason? Why Mia Muhammad Baksh? Why Saif al Maluk? Is the, was there any particular reason? Like Saif al Maluk, um, as you know yourself, Saif al Maluk, is the original essence of Saif al Maluk in itself, it's in the Potwari dialect. It's not in actual Punjabi. It's in Potwari. Okay. What they speak around in Rawalpindi okay. and in the Potwari region of Pakistan. Um, yeah. What's new? What's new about this is um, what I've done is I took the old poetry. There are some verses of the old poetry, but aside it, we've put new poetry as well, more updated in Punjabi. So Indian uh, Punjab people from Punjab India can understand. People okay. from the whole Multan Punjab speaking areas can understand as well. Okay, I believe I believe. Sorry, we're cutting in, Kami. I believe uh, Mia Muhammad Bakshab. He was actually from Mirpur. So he was That's a correct. Patwari speaking. That's correct. Perfect. Okay, that was the reason. Okay, okay. done. Mhm. Mm um, um, that's the reason why we, why after like I said before, um, we took the, some of the you know the extracts of the original poetry, but used it like um, you could say like a translation into more simplified Punjabi, if that makes more sense. Perfect. Perfect. And do you know, like Zahid Rana, uh, I mean, he's of course he's mm -hmm. your brand new artist, you know, because I mean, kind of, you are introducing them into the UK market, yeah? So, I mean, do you mm -hmm. have more people lined up in your, like, you know, pipeline, you know? <laughs> Forget the pipeline, I think I don't know what there's, there's a whole, you could say, you could say there's a whole, like, a cricket team slash football team of uh, artists okay. that I've got to come do that I've got to work with, so. You know, uh, you know, I am going through them slowly, slowly, but at a good fast pace because I don't want to bore my listeners as well. Okay. So what, I, am, what, I am working towards them. We've got a lot to uh, Kami, what's different about Zaid Rana? Why Zaid Rana? There are different folk artists, like, I mean, you could have, you know, Zaid Rana, uh, because of his vocal, I would say his vocal command is quite different. It's much different to Yusuf Dedi's. Yusuf Dedi's uh, style of singing is folk. It then comes back to that uh, issue about folk in itself. Folk, there's different types of folk. There's not just one type of folk. Okay. So I think from that aspect, uh, Zahid Rana is more like Sufi slash, you know, like in um, what they, uh, they call them, Kisse. Okay. In that type of singing. So he can sing folk, he can sing normal git, and he can sing um, like Sufi Anaklam as well. Sufi Anaklam, okay. So that's why I would say that it, 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 it makes a difference of the artist compared to the other artists of liquid. Okay. Um, um, one more thing. Um, Kami, how long it took you to produce this? I um, mean, when was this idea like, I mean, came in, in your mind like maybe from months, three months or something? Or was it always? Uh, I would say it take, I started this last year. Last I started year. by starting from scratch. I researched, I read the whole book of uh, Saif al Maluk myself. Um, I, I don't know if you've come across it or anything. It's in old Potwari, okay. the dialect. Perfect. And it's the whole story. It talks about the prince, Saif al Maluk, when he fell in love with the, with the fairy. With, from with the fairy, yeah. That's the whole story the of Maluk. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole story of Saif al Maluk. Yeah. And he left his kingdom and he went on a, 
journey for many, many years. Yeah. He went through all sorts of obstacles in life. And then in the end, he, he was reunited with Badri Jamana. And that's the end of Saif al Maluk. Perfect. So, but, but also you had to, from there, I wanted to bring some, something different to Saif al Maluk in the sense of the actual composition as well. Saif al Maluk has been done from artists from India, Gudaswan, he's done it, Anza Chandra has done it. So many India and Indian artists have done Saif al Maluk. Pakistan have also done Saif al Maluk as well, Araf Luar, Anam Luar, yes. Ataulai Sakhelvi, yes. Akram Lahi. Yes. The list goes on and on and on and on. So I wanted to do something different from what they've done. I wanted the whole dance to be different. I wanted the composition to be different. Even the Zafa Shairi, meaning the additional lyrics, to be different as well. So that's why I, I dedicated the time. It took me a whole year from scratch to get the Shairi done, to get the poetry done. And also the, the, the filming as well, that did take some time. If you've seen the video... Okay. Um, there's not just the one place, there's three actual places, very religious places. Um, there's Kari Sharif, where yeah. Niyam Muhammad Baksha, Muhammad is buried. The actual tomb of him, which is Kari Sharif in Nepal. Okay. Then I had, I obtained footage from uh, Nankana Sahib, Jana Mustan Nankana Sahib. Okay. That's in the video as well. Yes. And also um, uh, Punja Saab which is in Hassan Abdul Atak. Which okay. these, two, these two places, which I've just mentioned now, they're very, very religious places for people of the Sikh faith. Perfect. But, and, and sorry, okay. when it comes to video, you know, I had uh, this question, I mean, I mean you know, I, was, I want to ask you this question. At the mm -hmm. start of the video, you have actually uh, mm -hmm. used, of course, English, yeah? And second thing is, uh, uh, it's, sorry, it's Urdu and it's like Punjabi. Written, mm -hmm. written Punjabi, the, the detail about like uh, Mia Mom workshop. Yeah, because uh, there's a whole point of this as well. Um, it's that the fact that, like I said, Saif al Muluk has been done, but no one in their works or in their video, they haven't explained or even gave a brief introduction to who Mia Mom workshop was, or even a brief summary. So that's why I thought because this video is, you know, appealing to the Pakistani audience, the Indian audience, there should be some kind of like an introduction to who this person was, this great Sufi saint. Perfect. And also a brief explanation as to what their works were, what was, their, what was it that they produced as well in terms of their poetry. Perfect. Because a lot of people have asked me as well, a lot of people have said, we know what Sayyid al-Maluk is, but we don't know it from A to Z in the sense of we can't go, if someone asks me what is Sayyid al-Maluk, yeah. No, I couldn't give them an in-depth conversation. Okay. That's what a lot of people have said to myself. They go, we know what it is. We've heard it. We've heard it since we were a kid. Yeah. But we don't exactly know the origins about it, where it comes from, and what it symbolizes. Yeah, yeah. My mother told me this. When I was a child, uh, Kavi, my mother told me this. And uh, I was mm. like, I still remember, like, I used to literally dream of these, like, fairies and everything, you know? Like, when she used to tell me about, like, <laughs> you know... You know, because you know, there's a jeel. Jeel Saif al Maluk, like it's a lake, yeah? It's a lake, yeah, uh, Saif al Maluk as well. So it's about that a lake, it's, it's a story about that lake. Yeah, that's uh, part of it. That's part perfect. of it as well. Uh, uh, first of all, I mean, we have actually uh, got these things about Saif al Maluk, or wisdom. The track is called Wisdom. And what was the reason uh, to, to name this Wisdom? The title of the song is Wisdom. <laughs> uh, wisdom, because obviously Saif al Maluk uh, itself. It's just full of wisdom. Every line, every har iska jo har fo, iska har antra jo hai, Saif al Maluk mein jo hai. Okay. It's just full of wisdom. Nasiyat ke bagar jo hai na, ye sab nasiyat se bara hua hai. Okay. It's full of nasiyat. It's full of, you know, how a person, a person's feelings are, but obviously relating it to the relation of how a person's relationship is with God. That's the whole essence of Saif al Maluk. That's the whole, that's why, that's why it represents. Perfect. Kami, uh, what's coming up? Like, I mean, what's going to be uh, coming in a couple of months or something? Is there something lined up with different artists, different type of music, different... Yes, there, there is. Um, I'm currently working on something already. Um, it is something different. Okay. Um, and I don't think it will be... It, it's something new. Um, but it will be... There will be some sweet words in the actual track. 
and I do think it will bring a big smile to a lot of people's faces. That's all I'm allowed to reveal at the moment, so. Okay. Um, is there is there anything coming, uh, you know, like EDM, dance music, you know? Yes, yes, there is. There's lots, um, there's quite a few tracks which I, uh, I'm currently producing with that kind of music, with that kind of feel. Okay. Obviously, due, due to this self from Luke, because it's a more uh, devotional kind of Sufi kind of music, if I do my, myself, my own view is that I don't think it's um, acceptable to use that kind of music for that. It takes the traditional essence away from the actual work. Okay. So that's why I've done something, did something more traditional because it's folk, it's Sufi, it's, uh, it's you know, it's a Sufi kind of song. If you put electric music with Sufi song, it doesn't exactly work, so... Oh, 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 there's some plenty more EDM kind of music to come. You know, coming, um, I mean, this is my last question. The question is, who are okay. you when it comes to different genre of music, yeah? I mean, you produce a folk, you produce like a kind of a mix, kind of a club kind of dance team, you know? And uh, what yeah. what do you like? I mean, or, I mean wh who you are? <laughs> I mean, what is your speciality? In, what, what, you, what you like? I like all types of music, uh, all types of music, you know, I I like to sometimes do something different because I don't want my music to be sounding all the same. Okay. So, so that's why I chose this Sufi kind of track so, to show so, that I can, so, I'm versatile, I can do other stuff. Okay, so Kami, it means like, you know, in future, uh, we can expect anything from you. So you don't have any one type of music. I mean, you when you come up... No, Go on, please. Because if you stick to the one genre, if you stick to the one music, it gets boring. Okay. That's why you have to chop it, you know, you have to just, you know, sometimes have to be um, versatile, being able to adapt, be able to change, be able to try new things as well, experiment. Like I said at the start of this uh, discussion with yourself, I always like to experiment new things. I always like to try new things as well. Okay. All right, so so it means that you listen to different type of music, different genre of music every single all, day or something. All types, Bangra, folk, you know, Indian film music, Pakistani film music, Ghazals, you know, Kualis, you name it, all sorts of different types. Perfect. Folk music, Indian folk music, I Pakistani folk music. I got it. <laughs> Everything you name it. I got it, I got it. You know, well. you know what, you know you have actually many talents, you know, Kami. And people Thank will see, much. and inshallah, they will see in the future. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for giving me the time, Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we will, of course, hope you will be bringing something uh, quite soon. And, of, of course, course, as you said, like, it's going to be uh, dance music and all the stuff. And we can be uh, playing that. And, of course, I'm going to play the next track. is going to be Wisdom and it's Sefal Malou, Kami K's featuring Zaid Rana. Um, but, yes, of course, as you promised. So we will be looking forward to one of the EDM tune soon from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Once again, thank you very no much. Problem. Thank bye you bye. very much. Take care. Thank you. Take bye care. Bye. Take care. Bye.